Hello friends, welcome to Code Sutra. In this video, we'll be solving lead code problem number 2742, painting the walls. And if you are someone who is already attending the interviews, by this time, you will come to a realization that there is no interview without the concept of dynamic programming, right? So keeping this in mind, we are actually planning to have a workshop on dynamic programming. So if you are somebody who is interested in that, so do consider joining our Telegram community. We are a community of 350 plus people. I have mentioned the link in the description, so do consider joining the Telegram group. Having said that, let's dive into the problem, right? So whenever you try to understand the problem, the first step you have to do is understand the problem in the simplest possible way. So that is what we'll be going to do. So in the problem, we are given two array. So one is a cost array and the other one is a time array. So what does this indicate? So this indicates that there is a painter there is a painter and suppose this painter wants to paint this wants to paint this what is the cost required the cost required is two the cost required is two and it will also take it will also take two days to paint this so the cost is two say two dollars and it will also take two days to paint say you are painting a wall so it will take two days and also cost of two now there is a catch with it now in the problem it is given there is a second painter but it is quite a difficult thing for us to imagine now let's think like this now when this painter is painting for two days two days what happens god will come to us and say since he is painting for two days i would like to help him so i will paint him two more walls so any wall can be picked and this say this wall and this wall is painted right so this the painter painted and since there were two days god painted this on day one and god painted this on day two so what is the remaining wall so this wall is remaining so now this has to be painted by the painter now what is the total cost that costed us so the painter painted this and the painter also painted this so the total cost is four now what is the question asking the question is asking us to paint the walls in the minimum cost minimum cost now now there is a condition here what is the condition the con condition is that the painter cannot sit empty right see if, if this is the option what would we do we would ask god to paint all of them and this painter is free and there will be zero cost but that is not happening only when this painter is occupied say this painter is painting for three days on all those three days god will work if not no that is not happening so what is the minimum cost for this there is one option we can do like this say the painter paints this wall so what is this wall it will cost us three say three dollars and what is the time taken the time taken is also three and in these three days all the remaining three walls are painted so this will be our minimum cost so three will be the answer in this case and we also saw a different case where four was coming to be the cost but we want to make it minimum cost all right so now let's look at a different example let's look at a different example so this is the cost and this is the time now what is your intuition saying so our intuition will definitely say we will give the painter the walls with the minimum cost so we give this wall what is the time taken to paint this so it is one so in this again our intuition is telling the free paint or the god paint we will do this wall we will do this wall why because it has the highest cost all right so we will do this now once this is done the painter is free now again so the painter has to pick up a wall now there are two options once again what are those two options so this wall will be picked this is painted and this will again not be painted so now what is the total cost associated with this operation the total cost associated with this operation is four and four will be our answer now if you are somebody who thought about greedy approach well congratulate yourself because that is the first approach that comes to anyone's mind but that might not be the right answer so whenever you think of greedy approach whenever you think of greedy approach the next thing you have to do this is to negate this to prove this is a wrong solution so let's do that let's take this example let's take this example so what was our intuition our intuition was that we will pick up a wall with the minimum cost say we are picking up this wall so now if you have picked up this wall 
and what will the free wall or the god's paint be so this because why this is more more cost now once again this will be picked and this will be free and once again this will be picked uh, so this will be picked and this will be free right so what is the cost associated with this now say let's add one more let's add one more say for example so you let's add 1 comma 1 so now the painter has to pick once again this wall right so what is the cost associated with this now so the painter painted 1 2 3 4 and the cost of each of them is 4 so the total cost is 4 right so now let's look at one more approach say for example the painter paints this wall so he starts painting this wall so in this given period of time can all the other walls be painted say let's make this 6 let's make this 6 so in this given time can all the other walls be painted yes right all the other walls can be painted in this duration so what is the cost now so the cost will be 3 so our intuition of picking up picking up the least value is not the right way so greedy approach is not the right way so if greedy approach is not the right way so what is the next approach that we have since both time and cost are involved here so since time and cost both are involved here we have to make choices at every step we have to make choices at every step so where is this leading us to this is leading us to dynamic programming and if you are very new to dynamic programming i would first advise you to solve this problem on lead code that is lead code 416 and also 01 knapsack problem if you haven't yet solved this problem so do consider solving this problem before coming to this problem because these two are medium level problems and quite easy to understand and solve now let's dive into the dynamic programming approach so what is the first thing you have to do the first thing you have to do is identify the choices so what are the two choices we got at every step say we are picking up this wall at index 0 we are picking up this wall at index 0 So what is the choice we have at every wall we have two choices so one choice is one choice is either the painter will paint the wall either the painter will paint the wall or it will not be painted or it will be painted by the god so these are the only two options we have got for every wall right so now what are the consequences of your choices say for example the painter decided to paint this wall right so what is the consequence of this action the consequence of this action is you have to spend 1 dollar to paint this why because the cost associated is, is 1 and since he is painting one room out of the four room out of the four room why there are four rooms out of the four room he has painted one room and he is also freed up one more room since he is painting for one day so god will also paint one more day so now you just have to paint two more so what is the remaining the remaining is there are just two rooms that has to be painted from now on and what is the next index the next index is zero one we decided with the first room we can go to the next room so this is the consequence of the first choice that is we spent 1 dollar and we just have to two paint two more remaining rooms and we can move to the next index now if we decided not to paint the interesting part comes here if we decide not to paint do we have to spend any money no we don't have to spend any money can we move to the next index yes we can move to the next index but what is the catch here the catch is the remaining rooms to be painted remains the same why because the first room is not yet painted don't write three in this case because the room is not yet painted so this has to be one comma four so these are the two consequences or two options that we have at each step so these are the option 1 and this is the option 2 so what we will be doing we will be picking up the minimum of these two options right so we did with the first part of uh, dp like we discussed in yesterday's video we made the first step that is we decided the choices now what is the second step the second step is we will draw we will draw a relationship tree so initially what we will do we will start at the index 0 we will start at the index 0 that is we are at this index 0 1 2 3 so we are at this index so what are the two choices we have we can 
paint the room so it cost one so once you have painted the room all you have to paint is two more rooms and you can move to the next index so if you decide not to paint this is the consequence that is there are still four rooms to be painted and one room uh, sorry you can move to the next index now again at every step if you look here we are making that two choices so again what does this mean we are painting this room we are painting this room and how many number of room does this free in total it frees up three rooms you are painting one room and two more rooms will be painted up so what is the remaining number of rooms in this case we there were just two rooms to be painted and in this case there will be zero rooms or less than zero rooms that has to be painted so this we have already attained because we have painted all the rooms once this is zero or less than zero then this will be our base case so if you look quickly here what is this path took us this path once again took us a cost of three and we have painted all the rooms similarly you can go to another path we decided not to paint this then again we have two options here say we decide to paint the first room but second room we did not and the third room we are deciding to paint but the cost associated now will be four in this case if you look here it's three and it's plus one so in this case the option will be four and similarly you can go through all the ways and you can come up with the different options now there is a catch here if you look if you look there are many things that are repeated that is we are recalculating many things and since this is a small tree there might not be so much repeating operations that we are doing but if you expand this tree if you expand this tree so there will be multiple operations that is say for example this three comma two comma four you are calculating once again so what we have to do we have to store this somewhere or it is called as memorization so we will store this somewhere so to store can you store that in one array one dimensional array no right so any state in this case is defined by two things so you need two dimensional array why two dimensional array once to store the index because anything is defined by two things one is index and the other one is the remaining number of rooms so to decide that we should have two dimensional array so that is what we are doing this now so on one part we have the index and on the other part we have the remaining array so what happens from this so basically we are here we are here so we are at the index 0 and we have four rooms to paint so now what it will call now it will again call two more options and it will come somewhere here and here all right then then what are the options that we know for sure here right say we are at index 4 we are at index 4 and there are some rooms remaining there are some rooms remaining in that case should we return infinity why because let me show you an option this is one such option right so we have arrived at the fourth index but we have not yet painted so what should we return in this case we should return an infinity in this case because this is not a possible option so in order to eliminate that option we have to return an infinity so that is what we'll be doing in this particular case so once we have done that we have an option for 3 comma 2 let's look at this so this is the box that we are filling now what are the two options for this the two option is one is 4 comma 2 what is 4 comma 2 it is infinite so we don't want that what is the other option 4 comma 0 so what will this be 4 comma 0 we know that it will be 0 why we have painted all the rooms so this will be 0 now now we have two options one is infinite and zero plus two we have to add zero plus two why we are deciding to paint this room as well what is the cost of painting the third room the cost of painting the third room is two so this will now be filled with a two All right so this option is done then we again know what will be three comma zero three comma zero will be zero why because we have painted all the rooms so once we have decided that now for 2 comma 2 you can pick up from these two all right so what are the two choices that you have one is we have an option of 3 comma sorry 2 comma 2 which is the one that we are filling so 2 comma 2 this is the one that we are filling what are the two options that we have one option is one option is this two and the second option is this three right so which is the best option to pick the best option to pick is this one so you will pick that up and you will 
fill this option accordingly and again you can fill up the above ones and finally you will have the answer so this will be top down approach so this will be top down approach why we started from here but the filling again happened from here but we started the question from here and we are not filling all the boxes right so this is the first approach now now let's discuss about the bottom up approach so in the previous example what we did so we started calling the function from the main tree we started calling the function from the main option that is the first index and we trickle down till the bottom we trickle down till the bottom but what happens in this case we will be hitting the same thing again and again that may increase the number of operations right though we have stored the op answer say for example uh, what is the repetition here say 2 comma 2 is repeated once again so we will be hitting this again and again though we have stored the answer we will still be hitting them to compute the answer so we have to take a different approach and that approach is bottom up approach what we will be doing here is we will fill up all the boxes one by one so for sure no we know that this will be infinite and we also know if the remaining number of rooms is zero this will also be zeros now since we have these two options can we decide to fill this room yes right we have both the options that is available that is that will be there here so you can fill this we can fill this we can fill this we can fill this now once you have come here what is the next thing that you require so you require this particular rows again we can fill this as well using the two options let me show the pseudo code for this problem what we are doing here is we are creating a gp of size n plus 1 and n plus 1 and we are filling the final values here with infinity so that is what we are doing then what do we do we start filling from the last row that is from here we start filling it from here and for every cell every cell what is the number of options that we have we have two options that is what we are writing down here one is you will decide to paint if you decided to paint then what do you have to do the remaining will decrease if you see the remaining will decrease and what is this what is this this is just implying say for example you have two rooms remaining you have two rooms remaining and one of the room one of the room is taking 3 days to be completed now the number of rooms will actually go to minus 2 right so in that case in that case also we need not consider minus 2 in such cases we can just consider zero that is what this max means and we have the second option that is we will not be painting the room so this is a direct choice now we will make the choice out of these two that is we will pick up the minimum finally we can return our answer that is dp of 0 comma 1 just like in both the approaches we started from here we started from here in the top down approach but from bottom up approach we started filling the tables and finally we return the answer and there are a few similar problems which you can follow to understand this concept even better and as i have mentioned in the video the first problem that you need to solve is 0 1 knapsack problem and these are three more problems that you can solve these are all medium level problems these problems help you to understand this concept even better thank you for watching the video please do like share and subscribe